Hi, Scorpio. This will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 23rd through June the 24th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 23rd through June the 24th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for June the 23rd through June the 24th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 23rd through June the 24th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, being thrifty, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. <clears throat> so, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. You know, Scorpio, you could be still holding on to the fantasy, honey. Yes, you can. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're closed off to other options, okay? Scorpio, you you can tell me that you're holding back from making a choice here. Or Scorpio, you're telling me that you're closed off because of lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Scorpio, you have yourself, the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic and she searches her emotions. So, Scorpio, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Scorpio, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the six of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. You can tell me that something is off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Now, Scorpio, listen, it very well could be some news about practicality. You may be receiving something here, keeping it to yourself, maybe fantasizing about it. Scorpio, it could be about giving something here. And you're saying, you know what? I don't know. I need to make a choice. It's some type of confusion. I might need to hold on to my coins here. Scorpio, you can tell me that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else that they were giving more somewhere else to. And because of it, you're closed off because they have other options. Scorpio, you have the page of pentacles again. Okay. So news about practicality or commitment here, Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. <clears throat> It is clarified with the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Scorpio, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Scorpio, yes, this could all be work or business or some type of an agreement, contract, collaboration, dealing with some news about practicality here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could also tell me that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with a third party here, Scorpio. Or it could also be an invite out for maybe dinner and a movie for you from someone else, and you're kind of closed off to those other options. However, Scorpio, you can tell me that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with a third party. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two or other options. And this is the reason why you're closed off to them. Scorpio, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. Now, Scorpio, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups <clears throat> for Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Scorpio, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Clarify the hangman. For Scorpio, clarify the hangman. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. 
This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant. You're not speaking to one another because you had this heated discussion or argument and things may be ending. Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are stagnant and you're not speaking because you're using your intuition that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. And this is the reason why things are ending. But Scorpio, are you telling me that you're using your intuition, that the reason why you guys are on hold is because this person is already in a commitment here, Scorpio? Scorpio, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio, listen, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice. For Scorpio, clarify justice. For Scorpio, clarify justice. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Scorpio, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Scorpio, what about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that the cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Scorpio could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Scorpio, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now, Scorpio, some type of confrontation is taking place here. Because something is a fair, balanced, or just here, Scorpio. And Scorpio, we could be dealing with work or business, dealing with these coins and practicality here, Scorpio. Some confusion that makes you feel like, hey, I just need to hold on to my coins here. You know, using your intuition that maybe you need to do something here. You know, dealing with your coins. But Scorpio, listen, we're speaking about relationships here. Scorpio, I feel like you guys went stagnant because maybe you felt like they were having passion in the beginning somewhere else or you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument and you felt like, hey, I just need to leave this alone. For some of you guys, you could be in a commitment here. But Scorpio, I feel like someone is wanting to set the record straight, come in and right a wrong here, Scorpio, come back around after some type of cutting off, after going stagnant here, because we're realizing that we're soulmates here, Scorpio, and it's just like because of the confusion, it had you kind of closed off, you know, it just, you felt like some, you know, something was off balance here. I don't think you could ever pinpoint it, Scorpio. I just feel like you felt like things were off balance or you felt like you were being nickel and dime or dragged or, or whatever the case may be. You know, Scorpio, All I'm going to say, Scorpio, is make sure going forward, things are balanced, okay? Because it seems like you were the one carrying the whole weight, you know, making the relationship work, making the connection work. And I feel like this person may have other things that they're like wrapping up, Scorpio, and wanting you to be patient with here, Scorpio. Scorpio, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 23rd through June the 24th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.